Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to discuss AP Set 2019 Linear Algebra Question Number 17 from Paper 2. And the question is: Let capital B is equal to a basis set consisting three vectors 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, and T is a mapping from R cube to R cube with the linear transformation defined by T of A B C is equal to 3a plus 2b comma 2b minus c comma c minus a then the matrix representation of the linear transformation with respect to basis b is dash and the four options are option number one a three by three matrix whose columns are 0 minus 1 1 1 3 1 4 3 3 and option number two another three by three matrix whose columns are 5 5 3 1 2 0 0 minus 1 minus 1 and option number three 3 by 3 matrix whose columns are 0 1 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 1 1 3 and option number 4 a 3 by 3 matrix whose columns are 5 1 0 5 2 minus 1 3 0 minus 1 so we have to choose one correct option from this uh, 4 and here the question is about to find the matrix representation of the given linear transformation with respect to given basis b so this concept is already we discussed in the video of AP set 2018 linear algebra question number 18. So you can find that concept in that video. So once you go through that video, it can be available in playlist of linear algebra. Okay. Once you go through that video, so you will get the concept of matrix of a linear transformation. The link is available in the description of this video. Okay, now coming to the problem, given that T of A, B, C is equal to 3A plus 2B, comma 2B minus C, comma C minus A. This is the given linear transformation. So we have to find the matrix representation of this linear transformation with respect to given basis uh, B. Now find out the images of these three vectors under the transformation T. Now T of 1, comma 1, comma 1 is equal to value is 5, 1, 0. This is nothing but substituting the values A is equal to 1, B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1 in the given linear transformation that is uh, 3 into 1 plus 2 into 1 that is 3 plus 2 which is 5 and here B is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1 means 2 minus 1 which is equal to 1 and C is equal to 1, A is equal to 1 means 1 minus 1, 0. So the image of the first vector 1, 1, 1 under T is given by 5, 1, 0. And here if we can write this as L into linear combination of the given basis 1 1 1 plus M into 1 1 0 plus N into 1 0 0 that is 5 comma 1 comma 0 is equal to coordinate wise addition that is L plus M plus N comma L plus M comma L. So here equating the coordinate wise we have L plus M plus N is equal to 5, L plus M is equal to 1 and L is equal to 0. So here substituting L is equal to 0 we get M is equal to 1 and uh, substituting these values L is equal to 0 and M is equal to 1 in this equation we get M N is equal to 4. Therefore T of 1 comma 1 comma 1 is equal to L value is equal to 0, 0 into 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus M is equal to 1 that is 1 into 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus N into N value is equal to 4 that is 4 into 1 comma 0 comma 0. So this is the representation for the vector 1 comma 1 comma 1 under the linear transformation capital T. So coming to the options here matrix representation of T with respect to basis can be written as uh, the coordinates of T of alpha 1 say if we take this vector as alpha 1 then the coordinates of T alpha 1 can be taken as a columns of a matrix we get the matrix representation of uh, linear transformation with respect to basis B and here the coordinates of uh, T of 1 comma 1 comma 1 are nothing but 0 1 4 now coming to the options uh, in the option number 3 first column is uh, 0 1 4 so that option number 3 will be correct we will see the remaining uh, columns also obviously option number 3 will be correct so let us see the remaining columns also so similarly we can find uh, t of 1 comma 1 comma 0 it will be given as 5 comma 2 comma minus 1 substituting a is equal to 1 b is equal to 1 and c is equal to 0 in the given linear transformation we get the value as 5 2 minus 1 
and if we can write this is as l into 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus m into 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus n into 1 comma 0 comma 0 and finding the values of l comma m comma n we get l is equal to minus 1 m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 3 so therefore t of 1 comma 1 comma 0 is equal to your l is equal to minus 1 into 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus m is equal to 3 into 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus uh, n value 3 into 1 comma 0 comma 0 and here the coordinates are uh, minus 1 3 3 so this can be written as a column of the matrix that is minus 1 3 3 this is the second column now coming to the option number 3 the second column is minus 1 3 3 okay this is also clear now we will check the third column for that uh, similarly we get uh, t of 1 comma 0 comma 0 that is uh, 3 comma 0 comma minus 1 similar fashion we get l is equal to minus 1 m is equal to 1 and n is equal to 3 therefore t of 1 comma 0 comma 0 is equal to minus 1 into 1 comma 1 comma 1 plus 1 into 1 comma 1 comma 0 plus 3 into 1 comma 0 comma 0 and here the coordinates of t of 1 comma 0 comma 0 are minus 1 1 3 and these uh, coordinates can be written as a column of the matrix that is minus 1 1 3 that is the third column therefore the matrix representation of t with respect to basis b is given by first column are 0 1 4 second column minus 1 3 3 and third column minus 1 1 3 therefore option number 3 is uh, correct so our option number 3 that is 0 1 4 minus 1 3 3 minus 1 1 3 will be the correct answer is it clear i hope you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching